Um, you are uh, both a senior physician at the Karolinska Hospital in Stockholm, um, but also um, assistant professor at the Karolinska Institute, which is Sweden's um, medical research institute. Yeah, that's right. So I'm uh, working as a doctor uh, to take care of the patients and also because I'm a chief at outpatient clinic now taking care of the post-COVID patients and uh, running clinical trials at the Karolinska University Hospital. And also I'm a researcher, so I'm doing more research, COVID research now nowadays at the Karolinska Institute. So um, really keen to get into the details of your new study. Uh, mm -hmm. came out last week detailing some things you've discovered around the T cells and what that immunity actually means. But first, give us a, a sense of what the situation is in Sweden at the moment. It gets uh, talked about a lot. Um, what are you seeing in your hospital? Yeah, so as we're well known, I mean, we have had pretty high uh, mortality rate in Sweden, especially compared to our Nordic countries. But uh, if you look at the... Um, uh, the number of deaths and the number of uh, pa patients being admitted to intensive care. I mean, the curve has been really steep in the beginning from the March up to mid of April. And it also now goes, I mean, successfully really down. So, I mean, it's, uh, and it has been especially in the Stockholm region and has been really local uh, varieties. Uh, but now in Stockholm, which has been hit the most, we really see the downhill and now uh, intensive care units are getting empty, the wards are getting empty, now we are closing down all these COVID wards. We are really, really seeing a decrease. And that despite, uh, I think, the people are really loosening up. So everybody is, is crowded on the beach and uh, I think the social distancing is not really kept very well. And uh, nowadays, the more sunnier it gets in Sweden because it's not so, uh, have, it does not happen so often. But still, I mean, the number of patients getting into hospital are really, really decreasing. That means I think it's something I'm happening something else. It's not that we are getting harder lockdown or other measures, but I think we are uh, actually I mean, getting closer to I mean, herd immunity. I cannot see any other reasons because we are not really keeping the social distancing as good as in the beginning of the era.